And I have to say, only one person sprung to mind because it took a little while, having been out of the scene for 12 months, to remember what this was all about. Um, being childless and looking like this, I do a lot of babysitting. <laughs> this is what babysitters should look like. <laughs> This is about 10 year old Tashi, who is the daughter of a dear friend who I've known all her life as well. 10 year old Tashi heads the school council two years before her time. Brilliant, incisive mind topped with curly blonde. Head and shoulders below her peers, but no one is fooled by height. She controls calmly, gently, but indefatigably. The skills she's learned at home from two six-foot older brothers, from dealing with two six-foot older brothers. She's the adult of the house already, the boy's only restraint. I sit on the chair in her room and I ask of her future plans, this child who could clearly be anything or everything. I want to be a YouTuber, I'm going to be a YouTuber. And in that split second I see a thousand futures. I see the weight of history, and history is heavy. In the most horrible, hateful, hippie sense, history is heavy. I want to tell her that she doesn't, that she won't, but I'm not strong enough, brave enough, cruel enough to tell her that she can't. So we sit and discuss entertainment and the industry around it, and I explain staying ahead of the game and finding the next big thing. And I'm praying, praying, praying that she doesn't discover that as all the next big things come and go, some things always sell. But history is heavy. A generation before, her mother wanted to be a model, and for a fleeting mo moment, was a model. And then a parent, and then a singer, and then a parent, and then a manager, and then a parent, and then a parent, and then the penny dropped. Some things always sell. And ten-year-old, brilliant, incisive, indefatigable Tashi reads my mind again and says, Uncle Tim, not that kind of YouTuber. The most welcome rebuke I have ever received. Good night.